Welcome to Haven Shine Reviews. I'm your host, Ron Rigo. I want to talk a little bit about Wonder Woman 1984. If you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, yes, do not expect great things from this movie. Um, I went into it thinking, okay, this is going to be a great movie because, like, we've waited so long for it. The anticipation was there. You know, you had the first movie that was so good fighting gods. And now we go to a wishing rock. Yay. A plot thought well in advance. A wishing rock. That was the whole plot of the movie. Why? I don't know. It started off good with little Diana doing the little... Olympic thing there that they had going, and she cheated, of course, and that was a good start. Fell apart from there. I have to say, in a year of disappointments, this was the biggest disappointment of 2020. It isn't the disappointment of not being able to go anywhere. It was Wonder Woman 1984 was the biggest disappointment. It wasn't awful, but the hype for the movie, certainly, it did not live up to it. And you might think, oh, you got Cheetah. This is going to be great. Fight scene, pretty good. Pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. But it was all about a wishing rock. Like... Could you get any more lame? You go from fighting gods to fighting a guy that wants to take over the world because he has a wishing rock. And he wished that he was the wishing rock. Spoiler alert, in case you missed it. I don't know where they go from here with Wonder Woman again. But that was, that was a subpar effort. I actually rated it a C. And that's with the fight scene with... Cheetah, which was, was good. Not great, but good. But you just know that that wasn't the whole purpose of the movie. And unfortunately, it left it flat. You know, the whole, the whole thing, you know, like the, the romance and all that stuff was there. You know, it, it didn't seem like it fit like it did in the first movie. Just everything was left you know, kind of blah. And that's what it came down to for Wonder Woman. It was just blah. So you can see it, but I know I won't watch it ever again. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen because why waste another two hours of my life? That's it for this time. I'll see you next time on David Turner.